I just gotta buy some owls. So closed. No times, no open time from there. There's a press there, look. This is the 13th century font in the church at Erdisley. and uh, it's very ornately carved. right in the corner of the church. And 
it's got a wooden top, or what appears to be a wooden top. <laughs> right next to the church is a ex-barn split into four houses. Our house is sighted a crooked floors, and you can imagine that one's probably got wonky floors in it as well. That red post box has got GR on it. George, rather than Victoria. A little cartwheel on the side of that house there. We've got a mix of an old and new there. That looks like new extensions. Crooked bit there and a straight bit there. What is extraordinary as we live in the sticks is the sheer road noise. It's deafening. Although these houses are lovely to look at, the noise through here is awful. We need some do this coming now. An interesting building with a big semicircle window. You've got a stone house here with a very, very, very substantial chimney. That's a big one. And then silence returns. Nothing left but the noise of the water trickling down the drain until the next batch of really noisy vehicles come through. Two jousting over there, and this one called Angus. Big, 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 big wide feet. Spreading his weight out on the snow. He's having a bad day with his horns, though, or antlers rather, according to the uh, sign. You're drier than us, little owl. I bet that wall's very handy to lean against. I don't have anything for you to eat at all. Even though you probably would like to eat the camera. What's your brother doing? You want to eat, you want to eat those well tasty Wellingtons? Do you want those Wellington boots? Hello. Oscar. Oscar. You're almost expecting to give you some advice. Like, I wouldn't go down there. You don't want to go down there, do you? Either he or she is looking for that other one, isn't she? Yeah, I know. Another one? Say cheese. Hmm? It just has that 
<laughs> yeah, we got a dog looks like you. Can you smell that as well? Mm -hmm. They're all looking up for that Billy, aren't they? Mandarin ducks. No, no, don't taste it, Morby. Don't do that, mate. Black, 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 Hello, youngster. The llamas or alpacas? Alpacas. Alpacas. So that reminds us of home and what our chickens get up to. Happily scratching about everywhere. In everything. That's it, you chase him off. Or her off even. That's a serious tail, isn't it? Look at that. You won't see a pheasant like that running around our house, will you? Around our garden mm, field. Probably not. Look at the look at the markings. The black and white markings there. Almost crisscross. They are a tiny little donk. You're a tiny little donk, aren't you? Tiny little donk. Not seen this before, any kind of um, ancient monument. Karen will demonstrate. The book that tells you the story of the castle. Look at that. There's there more? There's more. I'll do a link on YouTube to a talk from Phil. What's his name? Um, time team digger did a dig here at Hopton Castle and uncovered um, a bit of the history about the massacre of the defenders, the parliamentary defenders that were defending this castle during the Civil War. But um, so there you go. I've never seen a book like that before, giving you a, an explanation. 
castle was reopened in 2011. And you can see from the stonework there's been some heavy reconstruction as part of the exercise. There's a date on that modern stone doorway there that says uh, 2010. But this was under siege two or three times, I think, in the Civil War. It was probably sacked afterwards. They're strong old buildings. You can hear the wind. You can hear the wind blowing through there. Or it could be the wailing of the dead defenders. And then along this boundary here, there's another ditch. With the stream in it. The contrast here to where we were initially, the road noise really did surprise me. I'm not used to road noise. Um, here it's peaceful and quiet. Just the tinkling of the water. Just taking a walk through the village of Hopton, or Hopton Castle, or I guess it's called Hopton. This is St Edward's Church. It reminds me of one we visited in Anglesey long ago. We have to cross a farmland to get to it. Some sheep up there. Green plant there, which I think of the clematis. Just now, there was a whole load of birds squabbling and shouting. Unusual windows on that one. Triangular. 